everybody, it is Prodigy Queen here. And in this Prodigy video, I am going to show you the epic pet Luma. So Luma is the only female epic dragon, this including the, uh, the other epics. She's an epic dragon, that's why. Oops. So, let's go ahead and do some gameplay with her. Oh, and I'm using my other account over here. It's Alyssa. So, let's go put her as a buddy. Why didn't I think of that earlier? So, let's go. Okay, so, she's going to be all the way over here. So, here she is. So, let's go out of my house so that, so that we can see how she flies. So, Luma flies behind me and her tail floats behind me too so it, lo it looks like um her tail is on fire flying towards me it looks really cool she has tiny horns on her head and blue colored eyes she has a soft orange colored underbelly and she has a, she has kind of like a sun symbol on her forehead and her flank so we could get like a closer look at it in the buddy thingy over here so let's read the description about Luma on sunny days Luma loves to romp through flower filled fields soaking up the sun rays and so in the other description Luma Luma spells are powered by the sun that made her almost unstoppable during the day another place where you could find the description is you could go to your pet team and click on the Prodigy Beastary. Then head all the way down since Luma is an epic and epic should be all the way down. Okay, so here she is. We could find the same description. On sunny days, Luma loves to romp through flower-filled fields, soaking up the sun rays. Okay, so now let's actually do some gameplay with her. So we go to the epic subspace, which is located near Skywatch and Bonfire Spire. It is a mysterious portal that leads to the realm of the fabled epics, the most powerful pets in history. Do you want to travel here? So let's travel there. So okay, so so he's gonna tell us, well now that you've met the epics, you can see their potential. Just imagine how strong they would be on your team. So we just got some gold since we were since we train, we're, we're gonna go train our epics in the dragon lair. Okay, so what did I just do there? Did I just pick a random portal? Well no. There are two portals of epics. One epic dragons and one the real epics, like the epic epics. Like Mag Mischief, Flora Fox, and yeah, all the other of those epics cards. But this is the epic dragon lair where Chill and Char, Titus, Luma and Eclipse are located. As I was saying earlier, Luma is the only female epic dragon. Same as Flora Fox is the only female epic epic, not not including the dragons. So now let's actually do some gameplay with her. So so we already went over so she was a dragon, so let's go to the dragon lair. Now we can see that Luma is located over here. Her face symbol matches the pedestal she was on before. And also, we, we, could, we could actually verify by clicking on each of them. Um, actually, I don't think you could actually verify by that, but I think you could by, like, you could actually see, like, it matches the color of her. Like, Titus is blue, so you can match other, other colors with them. So, we're, we're going to try some of the Epic Arena in this. Same as, the Epic Arena is, like, the arena we train in, so... Let's go ahead and go train in there. We are going to use our epic to challenge hordes of enemies and gain awesome rewards. Awesome rewards is like furniture for our house, like a Luma chair or like or like a Luma table. So let's get started. I'm I'm so excited. I'm gonna press the start button. So we got a damage reduced and more stars and a damage bonus. That's great. So we're against this pocket. And here is her epic attack. If you don't know how to find your epic's epic attack, you could kind of see like what they're related to if they're a fire element. 
But if you have both fire element pets, like both Totality, the I mean Luma and Mag Mischief, they're both fire. But you could clearly see that Luma's face is indicated here, and her epic attack is Totality. So let's you go ahead and use that. We okay. got it correct. So, so she jumps and then she casts her spell. And then she jumps again. That looks so cool. She jumps, cast a spell, then jump again. That looks like a morning ritual for some reason. We got it. We got the next word correct. Let's go. So about cannon. So actually, I was right. We we could defeat this pocket in actually three shots. But this pocket could like like we're all getting spell power bonuses. So let's use volcano since. We could take off this pocket with it. So let's get this pocket out of our sight. So, so now we're going to move on to battle number two after this pocket is defeated. So that's awesome how we can do 5,931 damage with the spell power bonus along with it. So now we have to stick around to do 10 battles to actually get a, um, an awesome reward. So let's start the next battle. We go to Evasion Up, Bonus Stars, and heal, let's go, we're at full health. So we're, we're against the sentinel. So can we use our epic attack again? Okay, so we can only use an epic attack once per challenge set in the epic arena. So let's as just, we were, let's use wildfire. That'd be a great idea. Let's cast our spell. So I like, oh wow, we got half of the spell. So I like the way Luma casts her spell. She opens her mouth and then like some kind of magic comes out, I guess, like yellow magic. So we can finish off this sentinel with a wall cannon. So let's take out the sentinel and move on to battle number three. This is going so well. We're doing extra damage than usual. You usually Luma only does like around 3,800 damage. Even with the spell power bonus along with it. But this time in the epic arena, I think she's more powerful. Because, you know, her en enemies might be stronger. So, battle number three. Let's start. We got bonus stars, damage bonus, and a heal. So I think we're at full health. Oh, we're still not at full health, but we still gain some. So let's use wildfire. I bet we could take out this Flurious in about two shots, or maybe three. So, it's a value of 700. Let's go. We got the question correct. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely two shots. So, Snowling Ball. Okay, this Flurious cast its spell by taking his fist and banging, banging against the floor. So, let's take this Flurious out with a wall cannon. So, 10 and 70. Okay, so, that, that's great. We got another badge. Okay, so, we're gonna go on to battle number, let's see, 4, after we defeat this Flurious. Okay, now, without even a spell power bonus, she does 5,750 damage. Wow, my Luma is growing powerful because of this arena. So, battle number 4. We got more gold and a drain and a heal. So that's great. We're almost at full health. I, I just I think a um, few more. So this, this bash bar has a pretty much a lot of health. So let's use wildfire. Okay, we got it correct. And Luma's gonna cast a spell with her wings bursting with magic out and her mouth along with it. So it might take us about I think two shots. Let's hope. Let's use Volcano. So Volcano, yes, yep, I was right. It would take, like, yeah, three shots to get rid of this. Oh, the Bash would just, like, crisscrosses its arms and casts its spell. Looks so weird. Huh. And get out of here, Bash Bot. We're gonna find a new challenger in battle number five. So we won the battle, and it's gonna promise him some more gold. I love all the gold we're getting in this arena. 
in, in the in the red regular wizard arena you don't get as much gold so it promised us extra gold this time okay so 175 last time we got 50. let's go we're halfway there battle number five let's start oh we got a drain and we got a bonus stars let's hope we get it. oh we get a heal so we're practically still over there so we have a fish oral let's use wildfire See if you can't use an epic attack. Got this one here, so let's see how much damage we do. Yay! We could take this fisher all out in two shots if it if it doesn't do a lot of damage. Phew! He missed. So let's as well take off this fisher roll with a ball cannon. So that looks like about ten, and that's like about ten. So got that correct. So this fisher roll's out. Phew! I thought I thought this fisher roll would kill us, since we hardly gained any health last time. Battle number six. Just just about four more I think, to go. We got bonus stars, some more gold. I hope we get a heal. Okay, we got a heal. I think we're at full health. No. Another sentinel. So let's use. Can we use an epic attack? Oh yeah, right. You can one time. I keep on forgetting that. I already used the epic attack. Finish battle number six. Let's see, we have four more battles to go. So let's open our chest. We got extra gold. So let's start the next battle. So we got bonus stars, another bonus star, and some more health. I think we're at full health. Yep, and it's another pocket. This battle. So we got our bonus stars. Okay, so we got a morph marble this time. Wow. So battle number eight. Let's start. We got a drain. Another drain. And a heal. That's all health we have? How is that possible? We only have 3,706 health. This sentinel is going to take us out in no time. Well, let's see if we can actually survive this battle. Can Luma save us? I think I think we can defeat this in two shots if it doesn't do much damage. Let's hope he doesn't. Oh, he missed. That's that's a relief. Let's use White Wildfryer just to be on the safe side that I don't do enough damage and he defeats me. So. Let's see, he got a hundred, now he has a hundred pieces of gum, wow. There's a lot of gum. I wonder if gum had become popular in these questions. So, we got it, correct. So, we killed this, we killed a fisher roll. Okay, so he is out. We won. Two more battles to go, and we can, we, we can get our awesome reward, so... Let's see. Open our chest. Okay, so battle number nine, let's go. We got a heal, yay! Oh, drain, so that heal doesn't matter. And we got another heal, so... We have a bunch of health, and we have a frost thing over here. Once when I was battling with my chill and char, a frost thing came, so... It was pretty easy to defeat. First question correct. Let's go. Ball cannon. Okay. Two shots will take this frost thing out. Snowling ball. They do a lot of damage, so we have to be careful. But he missed, so we're pretty lucky here. All of them are missing. So we looked. It's two halves. Okay, so we took out the Frost Fang, and we will be on battle number 10, the final battle, and then we get a reward. So Luma is growing powerful, and I think she even grew a small bit taller, just kidding. <laughs> so, get some stars. Let's open our chest, and we got some gold there. So battle number 10, as we can see on the top of the banner here, so let's start. I hope we get a heal. So we got just stars and a heal. Yay, we got a heal. 
we have a lot of help and this battle bash. So, yeah, so it's it's about time to to get our reward in our treasure chest. So let's see what we get. I'm so excited. So let's open this chest. Ooh, what did we get? So we got a Luma Sunshine Flower. It's some furniture. So let's quit this battle. And let's go and oh, oh that's what I let's let's go see how it looks like in our house. So it's a piece of furniture, so let's decorate our house. We have we put this chair. So this is our Luma Sunshine Flower. It would look great on our side over here. In the morning, sunshine. The Luma Flower Pot actually does represent her kind of, if you kind of bring her over here. Wow, looks so cool. And besides, it does represent her a lot. Sunshine, her spells are powered by it. So maybe she can do extra damage if someone asks to battle me in the house. Ha, huh, just joking. So... So I'll see you guys next time. Explore the world of Prodigy while I'm gone. I'll be making more epic videos like this. And Luma's going to say bye too. Say bye, Luma. Bye. And I'll see you next time.